Welcome back to the AutoCAD 2008 tutorial series. Um, today we're going to be talking about object snaps and how to make our drawings a little bit more precise when we're drawing uh, using object snaps. And um, just like all the other videos, what we're going to do is get started by making sure that we're in the AutoCAD Classic window. Go to your Tools pull down, go to Workspaces, and slide down to AutoCAD Classic. What that's going to do is bring up a real basic AutoCAD window, much like you see here. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to open up my object snap toolbar. To do that, I'm going to hit my middle mouse finger button on any other toolbar, and it's going to bring up this long list of toolbars available. I'm going to slide down to the one that says Object Snap. I'm going to click on it. It's going to bring up my Object Snap toolbar. Now, there's a lot of different object snaps, but we're going to be going over some of the basic ones first. You've got to master the basics first. Um, we're going to go over snapping to endpoints and snapping to midpoints. Um, intersections and centers and quadrants and tangents and such. This may take a couple of tutorials uh, because we are limited to 10 minutes, but let's see how far we can get in this one. But what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this, you can just kind of watch me for a second. I'm going to draw an object. I'm just going to draw a line on my screen here at first. And um, when I select that line, you'll notice without starting any command, I'm just going to pick on that line and I'm going to get these, these are actually called grits, but these are these little blue squares and what it's showing me there is that's the end point of my line, there's a midpoint in my line, and there's the other end point in my line. Well, AutoCAD will allow you, whenever you're, whenever AutoCAD is asking you to, to pick a point, okay, no matter whether you're moving an object or copying an object or drawing an object, when AutoCAD asks you to define a point on your drawing where you want um, this command to occur, um, you can pick a specific point by using object snaps. A line has two endpoints and a midpoint. Um, a circle has a center point and quadrants. And an arc has two endpoints, a center point, and a midpoint. Okay? Let's start off with a real basic one. We're going to snap to an endpoint. Let's say I want to draw a line. Let's start my line command. And um, I'm going to start just uh, start my line right here. Okay? Just an arbitrary spot out here in space. Um, now when AutoCAD is asking me for the next point, remember it's asking for a point in the drawing, I'm going to specify more specifically that I want that point to be at the end point of this line. So here's AutoCAD asking me for a point, or my next point. Instead of just picking here, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on my snap to end point object snap. And as I get close to this line, or as, excuse me, as I get close to the end point of this line, you'll see this little square come up. Well, that's indicating that I'm getting ready to snap to an end point, okay? As long as I see that end point square come up, I know that I can click, and it's going to hit exactly that end point that it's indicating. So I'm going to get close to the end point here, and I'm going to pick, and it's going to go exactly to the end point of that line. Let me end this command you'll notice that no matter how far I zoom in, I am exactly at the end point of that line. Okay? This is allowing us to get a whole lot more precise with our drawings. Now, let's say I want to start a line from the end point over here. Well, I'm, I'm going to start my line command. Again, AutoCAD is asking me to specify a point. Here it's asking me for the first point. Well, instead of just picking out here somewhere and hoping I get to the end point of that line, I'm going to pick my endpoint object snap. Now it's saying specify first point, and you'll notice this comes up endpoint of. It's asking me for the endpoint of what? Well, as I get close to the endpoint of that line, my endpoint object snap indicator comes up. And if I see that indicator, I can click, and boom, I'm going to start at the endpoint of that line. And I'm just going to click out here in space and then end my command and I've hit exactly the end point. Remember, lines have midpoints too, so let's look at a midpoint. I'm going to start a line right here, okay, and then this time I'm going to go to the midpoint object snap, or snap to midpoint. I'm going to click that. Now it says specify next point, and it's saying midpoint of. As I get close, my, input, my midpoint indicator comes up, which is a little triangle, and as long as I see that little indicator come up, I can click, and I know that I've hit exactly the midpoint of that horizontal line. Okay? And again, this works with 
any object whenever AutoCAD is asking you to select a point. Now let's do this. Let's start a circle command and when you start the circle command AutoCAD is saying specify. Remember the first thing that it asks you in a typical circle is asking you for the center point of the circle. Let's say I want to start my circle or I want the center of the circle to be right on the end point of that line. Okay, I'm going to pick, I've started my circle, it's asking me for the center point, so instead of just picking a point, I'm going to say end point, and I'm going to tell it I want to start my circle, the center of my circle, at the end point of this line, pick, and now I'm going to pick my radius. I can type in a radius like we talked about in other tutorials, or I'm just going to pick a point, and I've defined my circle. If I click on that circle, you'll notice that the center point is right on the end point of that line. That's as precise as you can absolutely get. Okay, AutoCAD is very exact when you use these object snaps, so it's very, very important that you use your object snaps. Learn with the very basic ones, the endpoints, the midpoints, the intersections, the center points, um, and then you can progress and you can get into some of these more, uh, some of these other ones. Now let's go slide down here. Um, actually, let's do this. I'm going to draw a line right through here and I'm going to go over the intersection. Notice I have two lines here and of course there's an intersection where they cross, right? Well, I'm going to start my circle command again and when AutoCAD is asking me to specify the center point of the circle I'm going to use my intersection object snap. Snap to intersection. Click on that. Now I get a little cross. Notice that little cross. Well, when I see that little cross right there at the intersection of those objects, I know when I pick, it's going to hit the intersection. So I pick there, and I pull away to find my circle. Now I've got a circle with the center point at exactly the intersection. Okay, and let's erase those, and I'm going to start a line command again. Pick out here, and here's one that you'll use a lot. This one is the perpendicular object snap. Let's say I start a line out here. And I want to draw a line exactly perpendicular to this line. It's not at the end point. It's not at the midpoint. It's just perpendicular to that perpendicular to that line. Well, I'm going to come over here and pick my snapped perpendicular object snap. Come over here, and notice I can pick anywhere on this line. Move my cursor anywhere on that line, and I get this perpendicular icon that comes up, telling me that when if I click, I'm going to hit perpendicular to that line. Notice I see my indicator. I'm going to be way over here, obviously not perpendicular to the line, right? But if I pick, because I see that perpendicular icon, if I pick, AutoCAD is going to force perpendicular to that line. Okay? This is very, very handy when you have lines that look like this. And you start a line over here, and you want to go perpendicular. Hit my perpendicular object snap. Come over here. I'm not sure where perpendicular is, but if I see my icon, Boom. Now I know that I've got an exact 90 degree intersection right there where those two lines meet. So that's endpoint, that's midpoint, um, that's intersection, and that's perpendicular. The next one we'll get over, go over some of the um, ones that we use for circle. So the next tutorial, um, hang tight and we'll see you in just a minute. Bye-bye.